Good morning, Fabcasters. We are live here. Well, not live, but we got a video feed finally, and you can see what's going on behind the scenes here. And you can see that this is really, oh no, this is dangerous. This is dangerous is what it is. I want to give you a behind the scenes look at the Fabcast because this is what it is. This is my sacred space here. This is where all the confessions happen. Subtitle is Confessions of a Recovering Sin Addict, of which we all are. But I also want you to see that, that this is not scripted. You know, I'm not I'm not following some some book or some script. Uh, I'm not editing this to make it say what I want it to say. I'm just these are things on my heart. These are things that are that are pressing, and and I think if if people are going to be honest, they're they're going to admit to the same things because hey, guess what? We're all made of the same stuff, and we've got a lot of listeners that that aren't people of church kind or anything, or all different kinds of faith. We've got Muslims, uh, Buddhists, Christians, Jews, the thousands of denominations of Christianity. We got it all, and uh, as I, as I make candid statements about things that are on my heart, either one of two things can happen. It's either someone goes, oh my gosh, he's jacked up just like me. Or, I'm, man, I thought I was alone. Or, man, I can relate to that guy. And with that, that can go two ways. It's either one, you're drawn, you're drawn towards making a connection with me or someone like me. Or two, you just continue to hide behind whatever facade you have up to paint a false picture uh, for the world of who you really are and what you really struggle with. You know what I mean? Um, during the podcast, too, I'm going to, unlike my uh, boy Terry Crews, I'm not going to look at the camera. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at the road because it's already, the world is full of uh, crazy drivers anyways who do things like texting while driving, but that's crazy. I podcast while I'm driving, but it, it's much safer. So, what was I talking about? I was talking about um, the things that we struggle with and how universal it is. Because the heart of every issue is an issue of the heart. So, when I say things like, man, this, this, this battle with pride, you're not going to tell me that you don't struggle with pride. And here's my here's my pet peeve. There's a lot of podcasts that tell people what they're against. You know, very very negative, especially the atheist podcast. And I and I got I got good friends who are atheists. Okay, I got really good people that I talk to who just who just don't believe in God. That's fine, but don't make another podcast where all you do is pick on people who who haven't thought about defending their faith. Like, I'm not even going to say names, but but there's a ton of atheist podcasts out there. It's just a bunch of people who are picking on other people who don't know how to defend their faith. And so here's what that is. Here's what that is. You're hiding behind your own theology again. You're hiding behind your own narrative so that you don't have to be vulnerable and you don't have to be transparent on your little podcast. And here's the thing. Nobody wants to hear that. People are sick and tired of hearing ethereal, ethereal no, jargon, of hearing, for the Christian side, your theology podcast that has nothing for me to sink my teeth into, nothing for me to grab onto when I'm getting in a fight with my wife or getting angry at my kids or, or just totally bummed out at work or working for a, a boss who is less than cool you know the atheists do that they hide behind their little narrative and start picking on everybody else so they don't they don't have to talk about what they struggle with and the Christians are definitely if not more guilty than that parading their their stuff their dogmatic systematic theology and there's nothing nothing in there about being transparent, about being vulnerable, basically not role modeling how the gospel has 
been effective in their life. I remember one time a, a guy from a cult knocked on my door. He was very well dressed. And in the middle of a sales pitch, I said, can you just tell me what, what Jehovah has saved you from? Because I'm excited, man. He is, he's done a ton of things in my heart. What does he save you from? And, and the guy, it just got awkward. He just, he just said, well, I must, you know, I'm a sinner like everybody else. And he saved me. I go, come on, man. Give me something real. Give me something real. You see that? You see that woman over there? I was pointing to my wife. I, I go, you know how unfaithful I've been to her in in many many ways. And I began to unpack it in a way where he just began to feel uncomfortable. And I wasn't even really sharing the the, the deepest parts that I share with my friends, but I would, I would because I believe the best way to, for me to share my faith to evangelize would be to role model how much I need my Savior by, by just telling him what's on my heart, telling him how jacked up I am. So the, the two ways that this could go when you're hearing this podcast is one, say, I guess three ways now. One, I don't relate, which means you're, you're blind. You're spiritually blind if you can't get in touch with your struggles and seeing how that you're like everybody else. Two, you can, you can, you can hear real candid confessions, real real struggles, and you can say, oh my gosh, he's just like me, but I don't want anybody else to know that. Okay, that's the second way. And the third way is that you can you can hear a confession and, and say, I got to get a hold of this dude because I am going through the same thing. I am just as jacked up as this kid. And uh, man, we should start a club called the gospel came in and saved me from all my pride, my bitterness, my love of money, this all this self-deception in my heart, all this idolatry, you know, misprioritization of things in my life. So anyways, that's that's what this show's about. And just showing you how I do it, where I do it, when I do it. It's typically morning time. It, it is early. The sun is blaring here by by five. Um, yeah, I love you guys. That's why I will continue to put out truth. I'll continue to preach the gospel and and not be some weirdo hiding behind theology or just hiding behind my own pet peeve issues with other people. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be real with you. Because, why? Because I love you guys. And I hope. I hope you subscribe and I hope you shoot. I get. I hope I get to interview you one day. Just show how jacked up you are and in need of the savior yourself. All right, peace, guys.